Hey peeps, this is Mango. Welcome back to episode 2 of the Computer Craft Tutorial Series. Today we'll be looking at turtles. Although a minor note that makes no use to this tutorial, well has no use to this tutorial, is I've got a new skin, but that is completely irrelevant. Anyway, so today we'll be looking at turtles. Um, turtles are a bit more world interactive than the computers. So with the computers you just interact within the computer and sometimes outside it. Um, if if you've just got a computer, it, it won't, you can't actually do anything to the world. Um, like a turtle can be more of interactive with the world, though. It can destroy things. It can place things. It can get what's in chests. It can it can put things in chests. It can move around. It's very very cool. So we're going to take a look at it. Um, so it's pretty much the same as a computer for purposes of the tutorials. So I guess I'll show the crafting recipe. Turtle. So I recommend going for the advanced turtles as usual. The normal one. Let's not look at the recipe. Um, let's not actually get it. You can see that's the recipe for the normal one. And that is the recipe for the more advanced one. Uh, I just gave myself another one. Um, the advanced mining turtle, if I remember, yeah, there's a lot of stuff here. So the the new ones, they allow you to put um, they allow you to put the tools on the side, which is pretty cool. Okay, so let's take a look at how to use these guys. So I'm just going to turn any eye off because that annoys me when I'm coding. So you can see this is the little interface of the turtle. This is your inventory, and this is the turtle's inventory. Yes, the turtle does have an inventory, so that means you can use him for mining. So he has 16 different slots, and this, and you can select any one of them. As you can see, that's the little outliner thingy there, just like your hotbar. So, what we're going to do is we're going to go edit. It's a program called Walk. Okay, so one thing a turtle... Okay, so let's do turtle dot forward And... Save and exit and walk. Then move forward. What's going on here? I know exactly what the issue is. Turtles actually need fuel to move. Because otherwise it'd be a little bit OP. They can use, I believe, coal and maybe charcoal, I'm not too sure. But we're gonna go with coal. I'm gonna shove it in the first slot, and then we're gonna go edit walk. Uh, I want to turn any eye, any eye off again. That's annoying me. So what we're going to do, we're going to go turtle dot fuel, I believe. It might be even refuel, I'm not too sure. Walk. Uh, okay, I got it wrong. Must be refuel. Sorry. Walk. And as you can see, it took every single, all of the coal. If you don't specify how, how much it is, in the arguments, you know, the brackets, it just takes all the coal. Anyway, but as you can see, he moved forward. If we run it out again, you can see he moved forward again. So now, we want to design a program to make him randomly move move around the whole room. So let's do that. Edit. Walk. Okay. So, we don't really need to refuel him. But what we're going to do is we're going to go... Uh, let's see. Okay. While true do I can spell so basically what this does is this will keep running forever while true is true which it will always be true so it's true that that made no sense anyway um, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna make him move around so we're gonna make a new variable we're gonna call it uh, du equals math dot random I might have to see what this how the syntax of this works. Um, and then we're going to go between 1 and 4. And then we're going to go uh, step equals math dot random. And we'll say, let's see. So we want to make, we can make the turtle go any four directions. So we'll do 1 and 4 again. I'll explain how this works in a little bit. So let me just check I've got this syntax right. Yep, I've got it right. Just made how to make sure. I'm just going to set... I just remembered I'm going to put local here as well. Always remember to put local before a variable if you don't want it to be available to any other programs. So what we're going to do is we're going to go if... Uh, let's see. Uh, duh equals 1. Uh, t okay, we've got to put then on the end. I'm so used to um, coding in Java, not Lua, so I'll get syntax syntax messed up a little bit. Um, 
if it's if it equals one, so we'll make go turtle dot turn left. That might be it. Might have to change it. Um, and I can probably put, I can probably put else if there, but eh. If equals two, then once again I'll explain how this all works in a bit. Um, if it equals that, then we'll go. Then we won't. It won't. Actually, we don't even need that field really. I'll explain why in a minute. Once again, <laughs> turtle dot turn right and if the equals four then not them then turtle dot turn right two end okay so what this is going to do is every time this runs every time this goes through uh it's going to generate a random variable every time it runs through because it's it's calling a random variable between 1 and 4 and it's also going to make a, another variable called step between 1 and 4 so what happens is if the if when it when it executes this if der equals 1 if it does equal 1 then we'll make the total turn left if it equals the reason why I didn't put two in there is because that would be going forward, and forward you don't we didn't, you wouldn't you don't have to do anything if the turtle wants to go forward to face the turtle forward because um, the direction to go forward is just leave it there. You don't need to turn if you know what I mean. If it equals three, then we'll turn right, and if it equals four, then we'll turn right twice. So we'll be we'll turn backwards. So what we're going to do next is we're going to go if step. Actually, you know what we'll do? It's pretty simple. Wasn't really thinking. Turtle dot uh, forward. Turtle dot forward. We we'll want to put step. Right. That should work. Hopefully. We haven't got any errors, and you can see he's wandering around randomly. He doesn't. He's not doing anything when he gets into the corner because, as you can see, he can't do anything, so he runs it again. So, as you can see, he's just randomly going around the room, doing nothing in particular. He's just moving around, and he 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 he'll explore around the room like he appears to be stuck in the corner, but he's actually just wandering around randomly. So there you are. That's how to that's how to like move the turtle around the room. He can go up and down. He can break blocks. You can see he's not going to where I am because if he hits an if because if he gets to an entity. He'll just he'll just move away. So next next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna put some more logic into this guy. Okay. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna we're we're going to if the turtle hits a player, if the turtle sees a player in front of it, then he'll attack the player. So if let's see turtle um dot forward equals false so this is gonna this is gonna see if the turtle can't if it doesn't if it can't move forward then turtle dot attack end okay uh yep that, I think that should be fine so we'll go exit and then warp we'll run that again so now he's wandering around again you can see I had to hit I had to hold Control and T at the same time to terminate it. Because when, when he was over here, I had to open up his interface and hold Control and T. So watch what happens if I stand in front of him. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. This guy's he's root. Look, he's going away from me. See, he'd attacked me because he was because I was in front of him. He doesn't really attack people much because well, he's hyper and he doesn't do anything. Hey, buddy. You gonna do anything? Look at him, he's nuts. Hey, buddy. Look at him, he never stops. Yep, as you can see, he attacked. Yep, so he attacked me again. And so that really, so that shows you what logic you can go into it. You can, if he's in front of you, then he can attack you. If he's, if he's like a, turn any eye on. Let's get a uh, turtle. Um, like this one will do more damage because he has a sword, obviously. And these can all do their respective tasks. I've just got a mining turtle, so he can fiddle around with, 
mining these things. And he's trying to get out, obviously. Pretty cool. Okay, guys, so this is going to do it for this episode of the Computer Craft Tutorial Series. Um, next episode, we'll be taking a look at, like, building, well, um, not, yeah, building, <laughs> um, with platforms, and, uh, you can see I'm having, a, this is another cut, uh, I've recorded a little bit more, uh, my internet cut out, which was a pain, however, I did, I, I did get it done, anyway, um, We'll be doing a lot more of that episode. This uh, next episode, um, in this episode, in this episode, we take we took a look at. We, no, I'm getting really tongue tied here. We took a look at um, for loops, uh, a little bit more of an introduction with turtles, a little bit of logic. Uh, it's a little bit of an um, introduction to how turtles work and inspire you to get uh, get like coding on your own um, programs. Anyway, this is Mango, or in this case, Steve. I don't, I don't like Steve. Anyway, this is Mango. I'll see you later.